Sports on Air. Two questions. Uh, first of all, we've seen games that coming with a two-year deal. Uh, I think we've seen games that are throughout the years, and I think you'd agree if you're saying that, you know, that's not the game, it's not the you know, seeing how easily he got hit with those shots. And seeing him get stopped like that, uh, Edward lost, Brandon Barrett, uh, do you think this night is somehow an affirmation that this is the passing, you know, of the part? This yeah, I, you know, I'll tell you, like, that's life for all of us. Time, nobody beats father time. And it does look like they're passing the torch, but when you look at Filipino MMA at the world highest level, a guy like John Lowe, a guy like Stephen Bowman, you know, these are killers. And if that's the next generation, I'm telling you, the future of Philippines is going to produce world champions once again. No doubt. I'm sorry, I just got to follow up in the case of Gay. Do you think it's it's a matter of being inactive or what do you think happened there with this performance? Anything? No, no, I don't think it's active. I think, like I said, I think father time can be with everybody. Um, that's not to say that I don't think that Edward and Jay might have a few, maybe one or two good years left of high level competition, but they definitely have to adjust their style because you can see that the chin are no longer what they used to be and they're getting hit by shots they wouldn't have, let's say, five years ago. Um, and that happens. Your reflexes are slightly s slower. Your counterattack is slightly off. You don't see it, but I think fans can see it, right? So, you know, I'll have to talk with Mark. I'll have to talk with Jay, uh, Edward, and, and see, you know, whether that. Obviously, I don't want any of them to um, suffer any long-term consequences. Mr. Shaki, when the 22 was a very big year for a championship, you know, can you just please talk about how much it means to you that um, you had prime video cards, five prime video cards, and how much you will want to go into the next year? So 2022 started off uh, still halfway in COVID, right? I think Asia hadn't really come out until September, October. So the first half, first nine months of Asia, you know, Japan just began opening in October, I think. China is still not So you know, you know, Thailand just began opening up. Um, even Philippines just began opening up a few weeks ago. So it's, it hasn't been a full year uh, in terms of our ability to to throw events to to um, push the pedal to the metal, so to speak. But if you look at what one has achieved in 2022, right, on the business side of things, I'm talking about Amazon. Large, largest broadcaster uh, in America, or, or, or large uh, OTT platform, um, and soon to be the largest sports broadcaster in America next one to two three years. Um, global largest uh, broadcaster, most broadcaster in Latin America and Brazil, 200 million viewers. Amazon, 200 million subscribers. Being sports, the number one broadcaster by far in the Middle East. Uh, when it comes to sports, and, and the largest buyer of sports uh, in terms of media rights, the, the richest portfolio out uh, 55 million subscribers. Um, next week, I have a press conference in Thailand to make a big announcement. Um, but you go country by country, we're, we're with the biggest broadcasters and most prestigious broadcasters now uh, on the planet. And we're just snowballing. You know, I've been on TV, people don't know, has 18 million downloads out of a country of 125 million people. Um, we're the number one watcher there in combat sport. Um, so the list goes on and on. You know, I, I think it's very clear what is happening. Uh, you know, I still say again, the world is so big. There's Apple, there's Samsung, there's GM, there's Toyota, there's one, and, and there's UFC. Next question, Nick. Habang mainit ang mga laman sa ating mga paboritong liga, mag-register sa OneXBet. Pwede nyo gamitin ang inyong browser or ang cellphone mapa Android man o iOS. Gamitin lang ang inyong mobile number at huwag kalimutan ilagay sa promo code ang OneX on Air. Kapag ginawa nyo yan, pwede kayo magkaroon ng bonus up to 7,000 pesos. Pwede nyo gamitin ang GCash account nyo para makapag-deposit or mag-cash out. Simple lang, di ba? Kaya mag-register na sa OneXBet. Thank you for watching. Click the subscribe button and ring the bell to be notified with our latest videos.